Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark, I'm your host, and today we're gonna have a short, effective video. So if you have a 2015 uh, through 2020 um, Escalade, Tahoe, or Yukon, and you have an issue with uh, your headliner leaking in the rear, in the top, um, this is the video for you. Um, I was going a little crazy figuring out where the water was coming from. I had a stain on the headliner, and I thought it was from a previous issue that I had, but it wasn't. So in this case, we're gonna get to it so you could tackle it and fix it, you know, once and for all. And, you know, uh, hopefully you won't leak again. But I think it's a, probably a defect from factory. Um, not very good quality as far as the seal part is. And I'm gonna replace it, show you the part, and show you how I do it. So, all right, let's get to it. All right, guys, so this is the back of the Escalade, or if you have a Tahoe or Yukon, exact same thing. And uh, this is where the problem's coming from, which is this plug right here. All right, so if you, I mean, it looks pretty tight, but if you kind of move it around, you know, you see this foam. This foam is kind of squashed already. See how easy that came off? So I cleaned it yesterday, but the foam is like hard and it is squashed. I mean, mine is a 2016, so you know, you would think with the heat and all that good stuff, it will go away and uh, they will put uh, something maybe like more of a rubber. I would even think that if you put this rubber without this it will probably be even better than having the foam because this has got a little like a little lip on it that if you press down it will actually give give you a better seal so i think that this foam it's kind of i don't know it's the wrong thing to use so i'm gonna see what i have available i'm gonna go to the dealer tomorrow see if i could buy this piece of foam it's probably like a one-sided glue and uh and do it because if not i'm gonna just take this piece off or maybe put a little silicone let me see first what's available and see what the dealer says if they tell me hey you gotta buy the whole you know wire harness so in my case i opened this up and i don't know if it comes with duct tape or not but this mine had two pieces of duct tape one on this side by the inside of course and then the opposite side so i i, I think that you know like i say it's a bad design I think that this should be just like this. See, there's no rubber or foam piece under this one. So this is, I think, badly designed. And look at this thing. This one, it's loose. So I gotta first tackle this one before I can figure this out. I didn't see any water coming out of this section here. There's like a little, little hole right here. Kind of hard to see. Um, yeah, right there. It's a hole. And uh, you know, all the water is literally coming down this plug. So my plug, I took it apart, and um, it was a little corrosion, uh, signs of corrosion already. So I cleaned it up with WD-40 as best as I could. Everything seems to be working. So hopefully it won't give me an issue in the heart in the future. And like I said here, as you can see, let me see if I can, you know, zoom in a little bit better here. Kind of get awkward position. You can see the stain. You see it? All right, so that's my stain. All right, just to recap, very, very simple. This is the panel, it's a plastic panel. You know, that has a little, you don't have to take out the seatbelt or anything like that. It's very, very simple. All you're gonna need is a, you know, panel puller. And you're gonna pop these little, um, little clips off. Um, I, once again, I, I wanted to go over this because I don't know if it's me or it's just my crazy mind. I have a, I have a Corvette also, which I'm going to be doing videos on. It's a Z06. I, I bought it to, you know, fix it. It's crashed. She's right here. Look at her. So I'm working on it. So stay tuned for that video on that. Super excited. So it's got the same stupid little clips. These things. So I popped off this. So don't 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 need to pop these these sides off, because I thought maybe it was something that had to do with the sunroof, uh, the sunroof um, uh, cover. 
that you know it has the <clears throat> the drains but I think if they go through that that pillar or the side pillar so don't take these off and the reason why because these things fall off like this one and then they fall off inside the car inside the, the chassis here this area and they're probably gonna be rattling for the rest of my life as long as I own the car so GM why I do like the fact that you know you have this little clip that you could remove them or whatever the case may be that's actually a pretty good idea so you could remove them you know quickly I had a little clip on there but this garbage here really no man this is terrible they open up they fall off all the time so terrible design terrible shame 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 all right so back to this thing all right so let me see if I could from but down here you can't really see anything just the water drip so all right guys so this section this little clip you need to press towards you very simple and then this lever comes loose to the, towards the right and then the plug comes right out all right so I did like I said put a little bit of V40 on it there was some corrosion you see the corrosion there on the bottom right but everything seems to be working. So, like I was saying, this piece already is rubber. I don't think there's a need to put foam here. You know, the only thing I could think of is that maybe they messed up and uh, they probably didn't have the right height. So they put this, this little piece in there. Okay guys, so the plug is out. So what I'm going to try to do is remove this uh, foam here, which is already crushed to death. It's like pretty much to nothing. So I'm going to see if I, maybe without this, it'll just work because this has got rubber and then it's got like a little, like a little, see so yeah, it's like flexible here. So maybe, you know, it'll go against the metal and it'll give us a nice little tight seal. So and another thing is that this little clip here, it's not tight. So when you press it in, I might have to maybe like file it or something so it could give you give you a nice lock. So that's what I see in this design. But if you look at this one, this one doesn't have the rubber piece. Perfect. It goes right against the thing. That's the way it should be. Let's take this sucker off. Hopefully it'll come off. You do it slow. The glue, it might come off. I'm not gonna throw it away because if I need to make a new one, I'm just gonna use this as a uh, template. And they don't sell it if they tell me, oh, you gotta buy the whole harness. I think the harness is like 90 bucks or something like that. So I'm gonna carefully peel it. Like I said, I'm gonna try without it. I'm gonna be a daredevil. What's the worst that could happen? More water comes in. Oh, it broke. See? Yeah, there was one section there, it was real. I like I like making things on my own, so I'm okay with that. Thank God it's not rainy season anymore. So um, yeah, this little see if I could get the sun so we could kinda see you. Yeah, it's completely crushed. I mean, it's like, and it's hard too. So, and, and you see that you see the little ridges on there. You know, that's like calling water. Come in, come in, water. And then, you know, they should, the foam should be wider to accommodate this section here. So. Because if you look at this section, this section here, see that one has the line? That means that the, the outer rubber piece of the plug was on there, but here on this side, it overlapped it. So that means the water comes on from the bottom and gets in. So, all right, GM, make this bigger, wider, and just get, or get rid of it. You know, there's no need for it. I believe that this plug should sit right on there 
All right, so I mean it has like a little bit of glue here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get me some thinner, take all the glue off, you know. So like I say, if they don't sell it, what I might do is I might just put a little bit, of, a little bead of silicone, a real thin bead, and uh, and then maybe here too, and then that's it. I'm not gonna worry about it, but not too much silicone. I don't want it to go in the plug. Uh, for sure, not in the plug. All right, so let me go get the thinner. All right, guys. So this is what I'm gonna be using. You could use acetone, or even though the 40 will probably take some of that glue off. And uh, just be careful. You have it in the car; it'll spill. Um, I added this carpet. You could get this at Home Depot. It's got, you know, nice little rubber under, so it doesn't slip. So it protects all your plastics. You know, I put a lot of, you know, my bikes. I put tools, wood. I mean, you name it. I use my my SUV for all, all kinds of stuff. So I uh, made a video before. You could probably I'll put a link at the end. And uh, it's, it goes all the way to right behind the seat. And if you need to use the seats, I just fold it back and then I use it. Use the seats. And then, I mean, if I need to use a third row uh, area, then it's easy to come out. Take the whole thing out. But since I don't, I, I like it like this. I throw my bike in here, the whole thing. So it's easier for me to, to do the work. So uh, like I said, you can use standard or D40. I don't think alcohol will probably take the glue that's up there. And, and that's it. So let, let me uh, see if I could get that done. Put a little, little thinner on here. We'll do it outside the car. Okay. I'm trying to do this with one hand is a little difficult. You know, clean it up real good. Both sides. All right, so you could take this off by pushing in those clamps. Very, very simple. And then down here, you could take out this little, little winchy washy uh, pipe or rubber. See, in the inside, it has a little corrosion. Same thing, I put the 40, I cleaned it with a Q-tip. And then up here, easier if you take the plug out. So let's give this a try. I know it probably won't work, but you know what? At this moment, I got nothing to lose. Just a little bit more water in the car. So, same thing, push it in little by little, you know, make sure it's nice and even. And then you just push and it'll click, and then it'll be nice. And then, this is, this side goes on first. This is not a clip, this is actually a hook. So it hooks in to this section here. Can't see it, it's a little dark in there. And then you clip it. Okay, so definitely not gonna work. You see how loose this is? But if 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 it was to go against the metal, then it would definitely would work. Yeah, it's too loose. Loosey loosey. See, there's a gap actually. You see, it doesn't even clip. So, whatever GM did here, Mickey Mouse work, man. Yeah, this should be like clap, you know, like a nice little clip. <clears throat> and it's not. So, all right, guys, so this is where the problem is. This is where your water is coming out. I don't think, I don't think that's gonna, that's too. See this not even touching there in the center part. It's like off the metal, it's not even touching the metal. I see that's the right idea right there. If it would be like that, it would be perfect. But it's not even touching, so alright. Alright, so you get the idea. You know, so I'll go to GM tomorrow. Alright guys, so I picked up the part today. This little foam here, I think retails for like 30 something dollars. So the, the guy had a hard time finding it, but this is it. The 2348-7135. So this will work for the Yukon, Tahoe, or the Escalade. So this is gonna be it. So this is it. So I, they had it locally. You could pick it up online at the GM Parts Direct or something like that, or a couple other ones. Uh, I think like 20 bucks. Plus then, but then they charge you like $15 shipping, so that's why and I got it uh, through my friend's account. I ended up paying about $25 for it, you know. So if you have a dealer account, 
you know, that's what you end up paying 24 25 bucks so this is it so see it's nice and thick it's soft so let's get to it i want to get it uh, installed uh before the rain all right remember uh to take this out press this little plastic piece right here and the whole plug comes out so obviously you need to do that do not cut the phone definitely want to do that so i'm going to grab the alcohol i'm going to clean the bottom of this rubber piece here as you can see some gooey stuff that was from duct tape i don't know if like i say it, come, it came from factory like that or somebody knew about this issue and tried to you know fix it or kind of rig it or whatever the case may be so All right, so make sure this plug, this rubber piece, it's nice and flat. But like I was telling you before, it has like a little, little thing here. You see how it's wider here for some reason? Maybe that's why they were trying to duct tape the shit out of it. I think it's a flawed design, you know, and probably GM knows it, who knows? I'm trying to figure out if I can push this in. But uh, there's a little plastic piece here. Okay, there we go. It goes in. There we go. That's better. You gotta push it in, make sure it's straight. Alright, so I'm gonna take this out. Two seconds. Clean it up real good with rubbing alcohol. Make sure there's no grease. Okay, that looks pretty good. Like I say, I'm, like I say, I'm gonna try first. You know, the, the simple way. And then make sure that, see the edge is pretty good, pretty good here. So yeah, it fits pretty perfectly tight here. Okay. So make sure you get the edges lined up correctly. All right, so like I was saying, this is gonna go here. Make sure, I'm gonna kinda like place it on here. All right. All right, so you see it's really tight. And you see this, this overlaps this. So I'm gonna, when I do it, let me plug it in here. Okay. Yeah, this foam, you see how it overlaps it? The water will get under it. So I'm gonna try to make this foam a little wider, but this is the problem too here. Because this overlaps it, this little lip here on the edge overlaps the foam. The bottom is just perfect. Alright. So, I believe I got it right. Alright, so slowly. You don't want to break this fragile little thing here. So I'm going to try to go a little bit say wider. Alright, a little higher just to to see all right so the edges the foam's a little higher and it's a little lower the left and right are, are fine all right let's give it a whack guys put the plug back in it only goes in one way okay so locked in make sure these two tabs you know clip in and see this is what I'm worried about stupid plug I'm gonna push it in right before I plug it and uh, all right yeah make sure you lock it it's, it's locked all the way to the end and you see how it's already keep on opening so I'm, I'm just a little bit worried about that and you have to put in the left side first all right and I can't even see, I can't see the top part. You know, but it keeps on. That's why they put the double sided tape, I mean, the, the duct tape on the stupid plug. That's what it is. You know what? I might have even to. Let me check something out. Like, they should probably glue it. And you see, it keeps on coming out. That's This is where I think the problem is. Yeah. 
this should be probably glued somehow yeah that terrible freaking design all right so i'm gonna clean it with thinner because it looks like it's all full of gooey shit probably that's why it has the duct tape i should have never taken out the duct tape now i understand what the duct tape was for all right guys so i'm gonna kind of crazy glue this in here to see if i could get this See if it'll work. Might, might not. I'm not really sure if rubber and this thing will kind of work. Put some pressure on here. Yeah, now I know why. Oh shit, my finger. Ah. Let me see if I could hold it here and it'll glue. Yeah, because the bottom I could push in by hand, but the top I can't see it. Unless I close the lid and then I get up there and I move the rubber, this rubber piece and kind of peek in there to see where it's, sit, where it's sitting, you know. But, uh, like I say, this is a flawed design. Alright. Alright, let's pray. Let's pray that it's good. Alright. I'm gonna try, push back, see even, I think it's, I think it's, the crazy glue is working. All right, so it's back, the foam is in. Now let's go ahead and do the left side first. All right, it's hard to see. I don't wanna to put too much pressure on the plug, guys, so, I mean, you kinda of get the, the drift idea. All right, push it in, push it a little bit to the left. And uh, you see, it doesn't clip, so it doesn't give you the impression that the shit works, you know? So the foam, and, and I made it a little bit wider. Look, it's like literally flush with the this little rubber piece right here. And I, if you look at it, damn, I'm gonna kind of try to push it in, this little rubber. All right, so it's in, and I see I can't see. I can't see the. Oh, if I can stick my finger, I'm just gonna push it down, push it in, and hope for the best. All right, so. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the water hose to it. I mean, there's no need to wait. Hold it. All right, so here comes the water. All right, so I need to move the hose a little bit more. So put this here so it doesn't scratch the, the light. Okay, hold on, right there. I need, I need to be able to move it around. Okay. I think we're good there. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, so. So I'm putting the water on the top, which is where you will probably get some, some rain. But I think this rubber piece lets lets a lot of the, the rain go to the to the right side of the right and left of the car. Alright. At least it's not gushing like it did before, at least in my car. Let me see from the bottom. Yeah, mine was literally like like freaking a lot. Yeah, what I might do is like uh, close 
close the lid and just put a lot of water and just put like a little bucket here to see if it, it catches water for a couple days just to try it out a few times before I close you know close everything up right, nothing has fallen So far, so good, kind of. Okay, I don't see any water. I'm inside here, so you can see, look at all this stain. So, it looks to me like I don't see any water. There we go. Right. There's no water coming in. I see, checking all the way around. All right, so everything else looks good in here. I don't see no drips whatsoever anywhere. Nothing coming from the plug. I'm trying to, yep, yeah, it's all good. All right, guys, thanks for you know uh, joining me. Uh, shoot me a, um, a message. I respond to all my messages if you have any questions. Um, you know, subscribe, we got a ton of stuff coming.